the Silver Creek Sportsplex with action from the NCS Division I bracket with top-seeded De La Salle meeting ninth-seeded Foothill. Yeah, the seeding might make this seem like a mismatch, but in the regular season, Foothill beat De La Salle in their first meeting with the Spartans winning the second matchup in extra innings. Would the Spartans advance to the semis? Let's see. The top seed of De La Salle Spartans taking the field against league rival Foothill. The Falcons threatening early with a runner on, but Justin Hooper gets the one hopper to Armani Smith over to Kevin Sandry to Blake Ogburn, a double play. The Spartans strike first as Andrew Schatz rips it to short and gets a home field hop that allows Sandry to score 1-0 Spartans after three. Runner at third, two down for Foothill in the fifth as Jake Bauer hits a sinking liner to center, but a great diving catch by Michael McAdoo to save a run. A huge play there because in the sixth, two on for Foothill as Vince Tanisawa sends a rocket to left over the field to Ryan Probst is home, also scoring as Sam Nowitzki and Foothill has a 2-1 lead, but the Spartans tie the game in their half of the sixth. First batter is Joe Vranish, and he sends this one high and deep and just fair and left. The ball will vanish for Vranish. It's a solo shot, and we're tied at 2 on. It looked like the Spartans would take the lead here as Sandry takes this one to the gap in right center, racing around third and apparently scoring is McAdoo, but the umpire says he missed third base. The run does not count and we stay tied at two all. But in the bottom of the seventh, base is loaded for Vranish, who sends it plenty deep enough to right tagging and scoring is Charlie Zierkowski and De La Salle advances to the semifinals with the 3-2 win the Spartans to meet Amador Valley next week.